Welcome back to another episode of Colin J After Dark. Do you hear that? You guessed it. This episode is all about frogs. Okay, we are heading down to the lake. It's a bit chilly tonight. Cole's looking at the temperature. What is it, Cole? We're registering a nice 68 degrees. How about that? Woo. Can we get a thumbs up for 68 degrees in the summertime? It's been 110 million degrees every day, so 68 degrees is some sweet relief tonight. Shoot, I need a jacket. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go down here to the lake and see if we can find some frogs. All right, guys, we made our way into the lake. We pushed the canoe in, and we have spotted our first green tree frog in the water. It's been calling. It gave away its location and we're gonna get a little sneak peek of it hopefully he doesn't jump away now we're on him can we snatch him yeah get him got him Woo. all right let's get a look see at him you ready guys He's gonna uh -huh. jump. Hey buddy. That is a green tree frog. And they have one of the loudest calls. They're like the only frog really calling. Out here right now we have these guys and cricket frogs. You can kind of hear them going off right now. They're kind of making a little click noise. And there's a few bullfrogs still hanging on, but primarily this is the only frog calling out here on the lake right now. But that's all right, because they're awesome and I love them. I can't really tell because the light, this one here is darker, isn't it? Yeah, he is a little darker. He's kind of a more olive green. The temperature is kind of low tonight compared to what it has been the last few nights. Um, that could cause it to have a little bit darker coloration. If it was a warmer night, he might be more green. But I think it's time to put him back in the water and put him back. Yeah. He was obviously <laughs> trying to get. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's like, I can release my own self. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so I've spotted him. He's tucked inside of this little lily pad. It's kind of curled up and he's just on the other side of it. We're going to try to ease our, our, ease our canoe over there to it and uh, try to get some close-up shots of him croaking. He looks like he's about to go any minute. He's all swelled up real big. Okay, so as you see, we've spotted another green tree frog, and this is exactly what we were looking for. We're going to collect this one and bring it inside of the Hargan home for the night. And then when the sun comes up tomorrow, we're gonna get some cool shots of it and go over a little bit more of the biology of the species and what makes them so remarkable. So with that, let's catch this frog. Easy does it. Got the frog in the hand. He just peed on me a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> let's take it back in the house and uh, put them in a tank. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. How about that? The green tree frog is a one and a quarter inch to two and a half inch long frog that is bright green, greenish gray to yellow green in coloration. The color will usually vary depending on the outside temperature and the frog's activity level. It has a light creamy colored belly and may have light colored stripes that run laterally down its side from its jaw. This frog has long toes with sticky toe pads that help them cling to plants, windows, and endless other objects. The green tree frog can be found along the Atlantic coastal states from Delaware to Florida, east from Florida to Texas, and north to southern Illinois. They can be found throughout Arkansas except in the northwestern counties. This frog's diet consists mainly of small insects and other small invertebrates. You can find this species in a wide variety of habitats, including bottomlands, swamps, agricultural, and urban areas. They like areas with a lot of ground cover and aquatic vegetation. During the day, they often rest on the undersides of leaves or in other moist, shady places. At night, they can often be found on well-lit buildings clinging to windows, looking for insects that are attracted to the bright lights. 
Green tree frogs breed throughout spring and summer, usually calling from low structures near the water around lakes, swamps, and even flooded agricultural fields. Large groups of males will gather at breeding sites and call out to attract females. The female will lay eggs in shallow water with aquatic plants and the males will then come in and fertilize them. The tadpoles hatch in about a week and become frogs in two months. Well guys, this is going to wrap up today's video. We hope that you learned a little bit about the green tree frog. And the next time you see one at your house, welcome it with open arms. Guys, if you liked today's video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We have some awesome things coming on the channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time we post a video. We're, We're Colin Jay. Jay. And we will see you on the next video. Peace out. Oh.